to be cultivating in oilseed radish at this time of year. Though we may not go full bore on that. And instead we'll see um, whether we get a better bonus from planting a more favourable crop than we do from planting oilseed radish. Or I could read the map and see what it does. Planting oilseed radish is usually cheaper than uh, using solid or liquid fertilizer. Obviously, um, slurry and manure are the uh, cheapest forms of manure, since they're a byproduct of something else happening. The next cheapest is oilseed radish because it uses a frighteningly silly small amount of seed for the field size. And it's not like I can grow a cash crop during the winter. Risk with waiting to see if a map A does get updated for seasons and B um, well basically does get updated for seasons. It also depends on how enthusiastic the uh, map maker is on making changes to the map. I mean, for example, I know Oxygen David, in retrospect, thinks he should probably have split up the Marwell Manor fields. Because the problem is, I think you get four fields with that? Maybe three. You get a grass, grass pasture and two arable fields. But you can't sell them because like this map they're part of the initial plot so if you look here if you want to if you want this farmyard you have to get fields 1 through 7 you can't sell the individual fields off now something oxygen david did state was in retrospect he wished he hadn't done that he made the fields distinct entities and separate from the farm yard However, in order to split the fields up into their own distinct uh, plots of land, you would not be able to uh, use a current save. So you would have to start over again. And he decided to, he wasn't going to do that when he did his... Because he released Marwell Manor and then he updated it shortly thereafter. And there were a bunch of fixes he wanted to put in and he stated he wanted to do that but after some investigation he said yeah 
it wasn't really feasible because it would have forced everybody to start over and he didn't want to do that and you can respect him for that but maybe for making Marwell not that I've heard he's going to seasons ready he may make other changes to the map which would require a restart now if um, Black Sheep modify this for seasons it should be good to play with a, with a current save <coughs> but if they did what they did um, for Farm Sim 17 where they made some quite significant changes and increased the size of the map you couldn't go from version 1 to version 1.1 without starting a new game and then when seasons came out it was sort of, yeah, you're probably going to have... Well, you have to start over again because... Or take the hit from Seasons resetting all your fields. That was rather a frustrating thing. So if, he, if, if Black Sheep doesn't mess with this map but does make it Seasons ready... So that I can carry on playing this playthrough, I will do. Otherwise, we'll be playing this fe this map with without a map with without being fully prepared for seasons, which will probably mean this becomes the the rough draft playthrough. Let's learn how seasons works map, and we go to something different um, once we have some third-party maps that have been edited for seasons <coughs> I did start a private playthrough on Durango this, week, uh, this last weekend and uh, primarily to get ready for the Cotton DLC. Of course, uh, miss, missed out on that release, so I haven't done any co cotton harvesting yet, although I do have a map which has cotton in the ground now. Cotton is not a uh, crop that's supported for seasons right now because the geo is such that it never gets warm enough. Oh, why did I do that? To uh, plant cotton or sugar beet. You can't use the cotton DLC and um, and seasons on a playthrough. Okay, I was going to check what's in the. We do have stuff. And that is for loose. You can't sell loose grass hay straw. You can sell loose uh, silage though. At least I assume you can. So we've got a little bit of money tied up here. Um, wish the numbers were bigger. It's 600. <laughs> What about ten thousand, seventeen thousand, seventeen twenty five, forty, about forty one, maybe, uh, fifty six. 
about another six, I guess. 62 maybe. 72. And 75. Um, 7,000, 75, about 82,000 potentially there. Two thousand. Uh, so that puts it over four twenty. That's potential. Um, let's drop that there. Um, what do I want? Purchasing tippers, manure spreaders, no trailers. Yes. So we do have a fairly well endowed tractor. I'm not sure we could cope with that. We could go with the agroliner, a smaller one. We could check what we've got down the end here. That's 42,000 meters. That one's 61. Oh, the brand now, 34. That's potential. 46, probably a bit big. Uh, what's that one? 28. That could work. Uh, the little Flegel trailer. Flegel semi trailer, what's that one? That's 42. the hook lift trailer and modules oh, and some more uh, it's 30,000 it's 25,000 it's 40 more hook lift stuff and there's a trailer that's 11 Metal to oh, we got the metal tech set, didn't we? 15, 19, 21 and a half, 24, 27, 29, 40, 44, 45, what is that? 42, Stratman. Twin axle and a loader at the back. So we could go. 40 is a bit big. And that one is 29. 26,000. Let's go back and check the agro liner. 27,000 for 21. I think the, uh, the metal tech. That might be a good, trail, a good transport to go with. It's 27, it's 5,000 cheaper. TP14, TP14 premium. Okay. What can we do with this? 19,800, 300. Oh. Oh. No. Turns out that's only 19,300. 29 with the silage rack on it. Okay. Look at the 20. It's 26,000. 40,000 with the silage rack on it. You can use it as a bale trailer. So let's take that back. That was 30,500, 33,500 for a 26,000 litre trailer. Okay. 
so that makes this one 27,000 21,000 litre trailer mm. Ooh. so 27,000 for a 21,000 litre trailer the 20 premium 27,000 35,000 27,000 35 and then you have to pay extra 3,000 for the lid TB14 is 26,000 Five thousand more for six thousand more. Yeah. Three wheels though. Okay, we have a trailer. And we have burnt a lot of time on the clock. Turn those off, turn those on. Oh, oh our tractor needs to be cleaned. So, we'll go and pick up our new acquisition. result in uh, it paying for itself fairly quickly. is fully loaded. Where's the front gate? This is the animal dealer, okay. Not quite so far to the farm as I thought it was. You don't have to indicate, you're just going around a bend.
actuality, the time, game time is only 5.30. It's not actually that late, it's just that dark. and that's going down. May leave that for a while. Sunflowers appears to be quite a lucrative crop. That needs to go to the grain mill. I think we will do that, sunflowers. lights on. Ooh. So I think this is the old store down by the dock. fix that by putting a slightly heavier weight on the front, I guess. Three thousand. Cool. This does not have 
steering axles on the uh, wagon. Um, I'm playing six day season, which means that two days is one month. <coughs> and welcome to the stream, Toasted Corn. Fortunately, you've joined me at oh, just gone 11:30 local time, and I am considering backing up for the night. But thanks for the cheer. From tomorrow, I should be back to a more normal schedule. We'll be doing World of Warships tomorrow night. Law folds on Saturday, finally, after about two weeks off, due to calamities and issues. And then back to normal for Monday. So, here we are. should be parked underneath. Yes it is. We will turn the lights off. Turn the lights off. Turn the engine off. Why not? So yeah, I think I probably want to put a couple more plates on the front of that. We have a plow and we have a house. So, what are we doing? Um, so, so far we've ploughed three fields, we've still got four more to go, and that's probably going to take us a little bit longer than tomorrow. We may only get three done. Going to here, we can plant... We're not going to get any rain until... Friday, Saturday, I think it was, so we're not going to be able to plant anything till the end of spring. So, actually, ploughing tomorrow, not an issue. We can even take ploughing into mid spring, it's not going to eat into our planting time. And the reason for that is, is we're currently under drought conditions and Currently we're looking at, oh, we're looking at, well, no millimetres of rain, but 40% chance that it will rain on Wednesday. The big rain comes on Thursday, on Friday, Saturday, which is the last day of spring, or well, last two days of spring. If we get good saturation, then the seeds should germinate successfully, and it's going to be warm enough. Uh, at the moment we have the temperature, I believe, especially tomorrow. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, everything moved on because it's uh, after 6 o'clock today. So for Tuesday, the temperatures are going to be up, but it's still going to be too dry. Uh, wind speed goes up on Sunday. Um, and our seeds for drought, um, we can't plant cotton, we can plant sunflowers, we can plant soybeans, but we can't because it's t they don't plant till the end of spring. Corn, end of spring. So potentially we could possibly consider planting grass. Um, yeah, 
that's... Oh, I didn't check that, did I? What did you just sell? Sunflowers. Sunflowers would have been theoretically better to sell tomorrow. Uh, soybeans, not until summer. We have a little bit of corn. Again, summer. Canola. Kind of want to hold on to that till fall. Oats, winter. Barley, also winter. Wheat. So, so those are pretty. Those three have a pretty similar graph. Canola is earlier. Sunflowers, I should have waited till tomorrow. Soybeans, not until summer. Okay. Corn, similar. Don't have taters, don't have sugar beets. We'll never have cotton, we'll never have sugar cane. Eggs. Oh, we can think about chickens. Forgot about that. We can think about chickens. All milk, wood chips. Yeah, winter. So, yeah, you have to make some good choices on winter plant, yeah, or winter sell, yeah, stuff as well. So, I may not be selling any more stuff. We'll get back to ploughing tomorrow morning. So this all got ploughed. As you can see it needs lime. And then we go and get fertilising it. Well, we'll stand here. Where did the sunset go? Over there somewhere. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for watching. I will be back tomorrow evening with some World of Warships. And quite possibly Ben Pin. And maybe anybody else who wants to join. In the meantime, have a good evening. And I'll be back tomorrow. In the meantime, I'm out of here. Have fun.